Hi everyone. I thought I would just do a, a quick little tutorial if I can. I've never done this before, but um, my plan is to do one of those Christmas present topiary uh, three story high little trees, I guess you'd call it, uh, for the front of my house. So um, here are my supplies. I'll turn this around in a second and I'll show you what my plans are. All right, so I've got some boxes here, loads of boxes just from my workplace that we had around and there's one there, one here. I just wanted a bunch of different sizes, so like like that and all that stuff. So, so what I did is I went to Dollarama and I picked up, I haven't even opened the bag yet, but I picked up all of these supplies here. I got all of these plastic tablecloths that are all Christmassy. Oh, that's not it. Um, all this stuff here. So loads of those tablecloths. Then I got some of this, I don't know what you call it, like sparkly mesh. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna use that for bows and stuff. Um, a silver one and some more of the uh, tablecloths. So that's what I have so far. I don't think I have anything else. Oh, I did. I got a couple more of like ribbons and stuff. Okay, so let's get on with the show. All right, so what I've done here is I, I put a piece of white um, Bristol board over top of the front because it was all printed and these tablecloths are really see-through. So I thought, well, I'll make sure that this part faces the front and I'll go from there. Um, in order, for, I saw online, in order to make it like a topiary tree and attach all the three so they're tightly together, the three presents, you need to put like a pole in it. So I cut a hole on the bottom and on the top of the box and it works. So I've got it attached to the pole and that's my first step. Hi. So um, I just wrapped my box with the tablecloth and I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I wrapped it as if I would like a regular Christmas present and instead of using tape I used a hot glue gun which was challenging at times because it tried to melt through the plastic <laughs> but it worked. So uh, this is just some of the mesh um, as sparkly. I don't know, ribbon that I'm going to use to wrap around my Christmas present. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Hi. So I've got it all wrapped around here. I'm going to try to do some kind of a fancy bow on top. I don't quite have enough of this once it's wrapped around, but I'm going to make some kind of a funky bow and put it, well, actually I might not because I'm going to be stacking other stuff on top of it. So I'll just do something wonky here to make it look like there's a bow and then and then go to number to the second one. Um, so now I just have to stick the post into this one and then start with, with the second present. So bear with me, I'm figuring this out as I go. Okay, bye. check it out, I got it on the post. From the top, I put it right through the ribbon and I cut the hole right through the bottom of the tablecloth there and, and present number one is done. I'm gonna do the next two presents myself the same way I did this and I'll show you at the very end kind of how how I attach it. We'll figure it out together. Bye. Okay, so I've done the uh, my second present. Fair warning with this stuff, it's insanely full of glitter. Had I known, I probably would have chosen something else, but uh, just letting you know, get a vacuum out if you plan. Um, so what I did with this one, this is just one of the blue tablecloths. I kind of, I don't want them sitting on each other perfectly. I kind of want them diagonal so they look like they're all messed up, I guess, but funky. So I did a hole here on this side and one at the other end of the other side. So it's kind of like that. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Here we go. All right. like that oh my gosh I love it it's so cool um now I gotta figure out how to put this little one on top but uh bear with me okay here's the big reveal I got it all done I'm super happy and I can't wait to put it outside the only thing um is that I need to put dirt 
in the bottom of the uh, the pot to keep it heavier or else it's gonna fall over. But I, all in all, I'm happy. So check it out. Here it is, here she is. I forgot to tell you all for the pole I used, um, it was the, the handle for an old shovel and I kept it because I tend to keep too many things, but that's it. Have fun guys, hope you can all uh, take some time to do some crafts this, uh, this season.